Well, on commentary, Jerry Andrew said that performance and spirit-wise, that result wasn't deserved this evening. Is that something you'd agree with? Yeah, in all honesty, I, I didn't really see a lot in the game. I, I know we're sat here 3-1, but I, there wasn't too much in that game at all. Um, credit to Gary's team. You know, you have to when you lose a game, you have to play credit to the opposition. And um, I think they did the the ugly side of the game. I sort of repeat myself, the ugly side of the game better than us. So second balls, hooking balls on. wasn't too much football, um, but they had a threat. Um, I've got to say, first half though, I think it's quite late we can see it. I don't know, what is it? 38, 38 minutes. Yeah, yeah, 38 minutes or so. I thought we got, we slowed to start, but we got the better of it and um, we found some lovely pockets of space. Not only that, we created a lot of chances. Um, and I'm going through them in my mind. I can remember Alex Fletcher having a header I think he should have done better with. The save, which is a save, which is given for a goal kick um, by their by their keepers, tremendous from Joe's, Joe's um, lovely strike, which is going just in the underside of the bar. The movement and the patterns we've been doing with Elliot coming off his shape and then he hits the post. The keeper, fantastic save again, I've got to say, low down. It's going in, I'm right behind it, it's going in and it spins out, hits the post and goes out the other way. And then, of course, you know, the next bit is it goes up to Alex, couldn't quite get hold of it, it's spinning around around him. They then catch us and there's an overload here in a 2v1 and it's squared across the box and, of course, it's going to be one thing at the moment, it's a goal, so... We go in and I'm actually really disappointed that we're behind in the game. We try and lift them and, you know, the, the difficult thing is because their confidence is suffering, um, you have to try and help them out. You can, it's no good going in there and lambast them and, and they didn't deserve it. It's different Saturday up there. I, th I felt as if we got bullied and they deserved what, what we got. But um, no, tonight was totally different. And then in the second half, when we come out, I thought we looked... We looked really strong. We, I know I changed the shape, but we suddenly from about 70 minutes got really strong. The disappointing thing is that I spoke about throw-ins first half. We kept getting caught down this side early in the first half with overloads and throw-ins. Quite a basic thing. I showed it on the tactics board. I said, don't let balls go into feet. Make sure we get extra bodies across so it's not 3v2s against. It's, it's equal. And it's very basic. You know, the ball goes into, into their feet. It's back. But the bit that leads to it, there's three mistakes in it, really. Um, Josh should clear it, clear it up the line as well. Um, the ball comes in and we shouldn't let it go into feet. So that's two mistakes. And, of course, Ryan makes an uncharacteristic mistake and spills it. So three mistakes in a goal, which is our luck at the moment. But we need to be better with it. And then we have a right old charge. Mm. We really do. And we're on top and we're having a right go. So... I've got to credit my boys. They, they, they show pride in the shirt, pride in themselves, which I asked before the game. Um, huge amounts of effort. We score a very, very good goal when we're starting to now throw loads of real good quality and get some width in the game. And um, I think that's about 80 minutes or so. And I think, well, blimey, we, we've got a good 10, if not more, left in the game where we can go and get something out of it. And we are, we're, we're going for it. We are chucking bodies forward. I know it's an overload for their third goal. But before that, you know, it 2-0, we've got a chance. I can remember Cody missing a great chance. He should score six yards out, free header. He heads it into the ground and it comes up and hits a crossbar. Another one flashes a crossbar post at the end there that it should maybe go in. So we're getting loads of opportunities in the game. And then Soslaw, they break away, as I said, and they catch us on a on a counter-attack. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's the performance hasn't warranted that result tonight. And you always know I'm really honest after games. The effort, the the way the lads approach the game the whole evening, I can't fault them for that. So um, we're in a difficult moment. And, uh, you know, I have to say, Mark, we're going to have to all stick together. Um I've said it there as a staff, as players, as supporters, we are in a difficult moment. Let's make no bones about it. And I've been saying it in the last couple of weeks, but they'll get there. The boys will get there. There's only way I know to react to moments like this. And I've done it throughout my whole career. I've had so many setbacks throughout my career and it's not a sob story for me, but all I know is to roll my sleeves up and get on with it and get, get going again. There's only one answer to that. I've said to them, if you, if you get yourself in bad habits and you suddenly feel sorry for yourself, and I sort of said it about, if I've got to go to, it'd be chocolate biscuits. And if I if I feel a bit down and a bit depressed and a bit low about my football, because that's what matters in my life, I'll probably go and comfort eat and I'll eat my biscuits. But in the end, it doesn't do me any good because it makes me feel sluggish and crap. So I'll have to go and run it off the next day. And I do. So um, don't get themselves into any bad habits. Keep to the process. Keep to everything they do well. Um, because it will turn for them. It will turn for them. Tonight's tonight's an example of that. And I think the fans saw it. They've clapped us off. Thanks, thanks very much to the fans tonight, I have to say. There was some unsavoury stuff at Dulwich, which should never go on, um, because everyone's trying to 
to do the right thing for the football club here. And um, tonight, I have to say, the fans were fantastic. They clapped the boys off. They were singing with 10, five minutes to go. They're still singing the Bath City songs, which is makes me feel really proud to be a Bath City manager stood here tonight, albeit we've lost a game. So a big thank you to them.